myself. I've got a handyman around here known as Greg Hanson. That's right. I've got a handful of guests to present to you this evening. Not bad. I've got a Excuse me, could I ask you a few questions? I got no time for your questions, and that's a fact. Time for your questions to jump back. Jack, it's Greg. Um, my name, it's Greg, not Jack. Oh, sorry. Really? I mean, Greg. Could you tell us what you do? Me? I'm bad. I entertain, make people dance. I do rap, lots of rap. I put on a hot show. My audience is moved to my mood. But sir, what are you doing of lasting value? Does your show change lives? Sure, man. It changes my life. I'm getting super rich and super famous. Would you consider becoming God's handyman and work hand in love with your maker? Now this rapper, I'm going to fall. I gotta go. I got a one million dollar contract to sign. Well, that lifestyle might be glamorous, but I wonder if it's really a meaningful line of work. Work? Someone call me? Yep, if there's any work to be done, I'm the man to call. What do you mean? Doesn't anyone else do anything around your church? Well, not much. I'm the one who really accomplishes things. Why, just last week I mowed the church lawn, washed the windows, polished the views, and painted the pastor's house. I was at the church 18 different times. Wow! Sounds like you've been busy. Real busy. Sure have. Like I said, if there's anything that needs to be done, I do it. Say, have you been spending any time in God's Word? You know, the Bible? Oh, no. They do busy. Lots to do, you know. Well, how about prayer? Do you pray for your pastor? Do you pray about all the work you do? Well, no. There just ain't enough hours in the day. Say, I gotta go. I'm shampooing the carpet in the reception room today. See ya. Now, there's a guy who's doing good things, but all in his own strength. It makes you wonder what he could accomplish if he had God working with him in all he does. Oh, hello. You surprised me. I guess the hand is quicker than the eye. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm not making fun of you. What seems to be the problem? Well, everyone puts me down all the time. I try to do something and then everyone makes fun of me. <laughs> I tried to sing a song once, and everyone made fun of me. <laughs> How do you know? Well, Zella told Susie, and Susie told Mabel, and Mabel told Gladys that Alice heard the pastor tell a joke about my singing. So, I'll never go back to that church again. Well, that doesn't sound very reliable. Well, everything I do just flops. Everyone makes fun of me. Nobody appreciates me. I get no help. I have no money. Now I go to the church at least once a month. I get better treatment. Sounds like time, sir. Uh, Tom, do you know what I get to do? Do you? Do you? No, what? Dishes. Oh, was made to do dishes. Oh, I beat that man. Working, 
been stretching to become God's hands in ministry? Yes. Now begin. <laughs> Who are you? Me? I'm the real hand. God's hand. I've never seen God's hand before. Not true. You've seen his hand working, making friends, teaching, loving, and even preaching. Sure, I've seen lots of hands. What do you think I am? A foot? God needs feet, too. Wait a minute. You're talking to Greg Handsome here. I don't go around begging for handouts, but I could use a few answers. How in the world can you possibly be God's hand? Same as you. Hold it. God has all the hands he needs. Not true. God has no hands. Except yours, and yours, and yours. Hands up for God. I get it. We are his hands. <laughs>